Hello folks and welcome to this new video, my name is Andre and today we're going to talk about art. Uh, me trying to make art. Me trying to draw. Me learning to draw. Me failing at learning to draw. Me cringing at watching what I've been <laughs> drawing in the last year. So, probably in this video I'm going to show you all my stuff, all the drawings I've been doing in 2018. And believe me guys, I've been watching a lot of tutorials, a lot of stuff, a lot of videos about how to make concept art and stuff, but it's really hard. I changed actually a tablet, so I have a new one, and my art kinda improved a little bit, but you know, if you have no skills, ah, it's going to be hard. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, I've been doing, after my, my last... After I published my release my game on Steam, I decided to make to improve my skills, my art skills, because I want to make new games, but I want to have better looking games, better graphics, and better art, and better concept graphics, and so on. And well, that's why I started to draw. I, I've been drawing digitally, and I've been sketching, and lately I've been starting to do this. I bought this one thing, I don't know if you can watch it, but this is a watercolor sketchbook. Watercolor guys is just too expensive, god damn it, I have no money for that. I don't know why it is, I know why it's so expensive, because you know, the paper is a uh, particular paper, it has some texture inside, some clothes inside, god damn it. But, you know, it's very expensive if you want to do watercolor art. If you want to sketch, just grab a pencil, grab a pen, grab some paper, some uh, f some paper of the printer, and you can go there and sketch your, your, your shit, but uh, with watercolor. I haven't yet started because I'm not sure, I don't want to lose a, a page trying to, 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 to learn to, to, to do shit. So, but hey, this is not about watercolor, this is about my 2018 progress, art progress, drawing progress. So let's start guys. <laughs> okay guys, this is my screen, I'm using PureRef, so you can use it, it's a really good software. Uh, I mean, this isn't a good way to for my software because I made something like this to 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 use like image references. So let's start. And now you can see there are something like 100 and so on images here. But I started somewhere somewhere here. Where's the stupid three? Oh yeah, this is the first. Uh, I was learning to draw so. I was learning to the software as well. Sorry, I was learning the software. I was learning to draw. I was learning Krita. I was learning to to use the tablet. So this is my first drawing, and everything what you can see here is made in Krita. Krita, Krita is a great software. I totally suggest that to you. So please go grab it and draw it. It's really the free alternative to photoshop so like you can see i was obs kind of obsessed at, at first with uh, rocks and i've been trying to to draw rocks but you know rocks are a little bit hard and you you need to 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 learn anatomy of, of a rock and stuff like that like you can see i sadly uh, didn't wasn't that good uh, the lack of uh, a right um, details like you can see this is a canyon I used some references when I was drawing and uh, sometimes I used to uh, to to get you know the values I'm going to use a lot of terms that I don't know if they are the right terms so don't don't take this like educational I'm just showing you what I've been doing and how I have been failing miserably <laughs> so, okay guys uh, these are two faces a baby a, a girl baby here uh, babies are or at least kids are a little bit weird to draw because they are have like you can see big eyes a small mouth a small nose maybe the mouth is a little bit uh, big but 
you know, everything is stretched. And then uh, I've been trying to, to learn some eyes here. This looks pretty legitimate, pretty good. This face is pretty weird, uh, it, it sucks. Now I, uh, I've been using, uh, I've been trying to do some stuff here. And like you can see, this is my sketching. This is auto portrait, but it's not that good. Other rocks, like you can see here, where are uh, the other rocks? And I've been trying to do some sketches, some concept art, like this. This was for a game. Character design, I don't know how to call that. Weird faces. And here, I'm trying to draw some figures poses faces this tree actually came pretty good like you can see nice colors here but at the start like you can see the, it it was really a mess first dragon second dragon the second dragon is better because i use some references and this one actually i watched the tutorial how to make the dude was using some gradients and gradients kind of work you create a gradient a shape with some gradients and then you go and make some details it kind of worked but actually like you can see there's a lot of shit as well like this dude here or uh, where this other dude here oh the kitties another rock here some bad rocks here like you can see I was trying to to draw rocks after a while I started drawing some other kind of stuff I I tried to make some fog here if you see uh, for fr f from far away like this you kind of get the idea but if you zoom in it kind of sucks <laughs> so this was actually made in 15 minutes it was for my software my image reference software that I made another face like you can see how weird does this face look uh, I used a photo like reference and believe me on, on my world she is beautiful but she just came out like that and here what is here this is me actually kind of me it's not exactly me uh, I was locked out from a home here there are some barrels these actually w were made to, to make some 3d models and you can watch them in, on sketchfab so if you want go and grab these uh, free models they are there for free and like you can see here i was trying to copy uh, some concept art but you know it's hard to, to copy and to learn if you don't know how to use uh, colors oh this is one of the nicest one it's an ant and it came pretty well and uh, there's some good balance between the ground and stuff this is my cat Chewbacca he's actually sleeping right here on my bed <laughs> uh, there are some lips here some creatures and right now we're, we're watching something that is quite recent and this was made on my iPad, unfinished this one, nice brushes, brush strokes here, I really like that, the brush strokes, but everything, everything else just sucks. Well, Riders of the War was that period, and what else, there are a lot of other shitty stuff here, but what I'm going to mostly um, show you is this one was made for Halloween and you can see that I'm more confident in this one on using color and brush strokes this one has something weird with uh, the bigness of the eyes the eyes are pretty big and the mouth lacks some details like you know uh, teeth and this is finished it's pretty nice I like Green, green stuff and like nature so this is pretty nice but uh, like you can see there are a lot of details with big and heavy um, lines and that just doesn't work well some tits here oh. this one was just copied from a 3d model I copied it a dude was making a 3d model on YouTube and 
I copied it. No, you can see a lot of uh, speed time lapses when I draw some of those stuff. So you can go on my YouTube channel and watch them. And this was uh, concept art made while, uh, after I played Dungeons and Dragons with some friends, you know. And it came like this. It likes some uh, light rays and that's why it looks a little bit strange. Now, uh, like you can see, this was pretty strange, but uh, I used to have all these sketch lines and it's not a good if you want to go realistic, uh, realistically, I don't know how to say that word, but if you want to make good art, you need to get rid of uh, the, the lines. This was inspired by uh, Isaac Asimov, like you can see, it's, it's just the first pages, if you read, it's the dude that is going to, to take a, a flight to go and, uh, and meet Sheldon, I think it's Sheldon, you see. Another one inspired from Asimov as well, it's this and this are both together. And then, there's a little cave here. Uh, the light is just coming there and it's pretty strange, you know, it's pretty flat because it's just white. A bottle. Strange creature. Now this rock looks kinda light if you if you see from far because it's well mixed and well in the background. They kinda mix together in a better way. This is actually some, you know, some other concept. I use a lot of this word concept, but it's not concept. I mean, it's me trying to draw and miserably failing. Uh, there's some lack of shadow here. It should have been more heavy. And another concept art is this. This was made after playing always from from Dungeons and Dragons. Like you can see here, there's an elf. Actually, my character was right here. And we were measuring some some stuff here to make other stuff. And like now I'm going to show you uh, things that I think that are good and are well made. And things that are good and that are well made, this probably is a good one, but actually lacks a little bit of blurriness in the background, it's just a mountain. And this is actually another good one, it's a golem and a fighter, and this was the first stage and this is the last stage when, when I have been rendering the golem. Like you can see, the eyes are pretty nice, I really enjoy these eyes here. Uh, the dude here isn't that good. Perspective here, it's a little bit strange. Shouldn't have been like that. And what else? Oh, this monster here, it's pretty nice as well. It's just using grayscale, so black, value, uh, black and white values. And it came like that. What else? This one actually failed in, I failed making this one because it's not very, uh, interesting to be watched it's just something that you look a little bit and you get the radio of it so some clouds here it's a muffin cloud and here there are some new ones this parrot here this girl was made I don't remember who, who drew, drew her I just copied her and trying to, to figure out how to make hairs and use right values like like you can see here she just came back <laughs> i've been trying to do some superheroes uh, torso as well you know very mu muscular muscular stuff guns and this is another one like you can see this is in black and white a ship craft that has crashed in a desert planet and the astronaut is going out taking all his stuff with that floating thing and this is probably one of my favorite ones and this because we, i really enjoy 
uh, rain and uh, nature like you can see this is a little house in, in the middle of the forest or something like that and it's really uh, it's an illustration but I really enjoy that the thing the other one here is very inspired I, I actually used the the colors directly the palette directly taken by 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 an, and Disney uh, image uh, frame and I started drawing these trees here and here's some age like you can see uh, lately I've been doing uh, better and better because I started being more confident on my skills and on understanding colors this is my face actually but uh, you know I changed it a little bit and the, the little dude here came pretty well I've been using some uh, double lighting you know uh, Arm Blaze uses a, uh, a lot of this stuff, so go and check out Arm Blaze if you want to learn some, some, some stuff. And this is another one, uh, like you can see, using the uh, Disney color palette, and it came like this. It's pretty nice. I was trying to make an isometric cube. Hila from H3H3, H3, actually, it came like this, I'm not that proud, but that's fine, and I'm proud of her, I used some references, obviously, and I tried to, to make this uh, kind of hell for woman that lives free in the nature, and this is Spike from Cowboy Bebop, love that, the anime, so please go and check out the anime if you haven't watched that. And I was trying to, to make him a little bit more realistic. And this is another dude. A uh, weird face. A death. Uh, Santa Claus, something like that. A strange creature. And this one was made for uh, Christmas, actually. And it's just an illustration made really fast. This other one is a dragon. And I really like the hitting here on the, you know, on the neck because it's doing some, you know, flame there. What else? Now, if you follow me on my Instagram, I have published a lot of these, so you can you can watch the all most of these there on Instagram. I was exploring here the one eye creatures, and these came out. And. This is a warrior, some flame, bird background, it's pretty interesting. So I started basically doing this very, very fast. Uh, like you can see here, it's not rendered everything in a proper way, but that's fine. And probably these two are my favorite ones, because uh, I really like these brush strokes. Like you can see, I made my own brushes now, and I've been using those two brushes here, and it's pretty interesting, but like you can see, my hands aren't that good. And this is another one, uh, it's a viking. Uh, this one is an Albanian hero, actually. It's called Skanderbag, or Skanderbeo. Sorry guys for my Italian speaking for a while. <laughs> um, here is a Viking. I will really like this this style of where the brushes are uh, seen. Uh, the wolfy here just going a little bit bad. <laughs> now she is uh, from uh, I think it's, she's called Kida and is from Atlantis. I rendered her and she came pretty well actually. I really enjoyed her even though it's just you know it's just a cartoon. And here it is uh, another sci-fi one. Well inspired from Black Tower. And I think we're done. I've been doing uh, some other ones, and they are actually uh, on my folder here. I haven't included them because they are 2019s, and I actually don't draw for a while. But I've been sketching every day, every single day, on my uh, on my paper, on my sketchbook. But this is the the last one here, like you can see. Uh, this is the last one and it's a monster, I made this 
the concept was by a guy is making a, a game about this it's called aliens come comebacks uh, i don't know if it's right but something like that and this is my last one uh, i've been doing some other concept arts here i don't know if you can watch bigger this ones let, let me show you thank you for <laughs> being here with me uh, hearing me what i've been talking and what i've been saying you know i've been drawing for a year and there are a lot of shit as well there but believe me i'm i'm trying to to get better and if you are trying to learn please uh, let me know how you're doing it because i'm a little bit struggling to learn lately i've been and for lately i mean just a few days ago i've been trying to learn human anatomy and hope to draw faces because i really lack in that so thank you for being here thank you for watching uh, please leave a comment down below and tell me what do you think about my shitty drawings and if you are drawing and how are you doing how are you learning and please consider subscribing because this channel isn't only about art it's about video games and about making uh, games and coding and music and everything creativity in general is this uh, this channel here so consider subscribing and thank you for watching leave a like and see you next time and keep making art and keep making games